the Custos of the Holy Land, Brother Francesco Patton, made a solemn entry on Saturday, June 11th, this time in the town of Jaffa, administratively incorporated in Tel Aviv in 1950. The ceremony, which was held together with the commemoration of the local patron, St. Anthony, began with a procession that started at St. Peter's Church. Being a port city, the Franciscans settled here in the 17th century to house pilgrims who sailed into Jerusalem from around the world. Located in the Mediterranean coast, Jaffa is one of the oldest cities in the world. With over 4,000 years of history, the biblical texts narrate that the prophet Jonah tried to flee to Tarshish from this port. During the storm, he was then thrown overboard and was swallowed by a big fish that rejected him back onto the beach three days later. The home of Simon the Tanner was also in Jaffa. Peter was staying in that place when he had a vision of a cloth that fell from the sky, containing unclean animals, and received the order to eat them. After this episode, Peter went to Caesarea Philippi, where he baptized Cornelius, the first pagan converted to Christianity. Dopo la visione qui. After this vision, Peter understands that not only the Jews, but all people are pure. This was very significant because the church is open to all, to all nations. Even today, here in Jaffa, there are many communities. Every weekend in our church, we have seven masses in seven different languages, and we're able to witness the Catholicity and universality of the church. The procession arrived to the city parish in St. Anthony's Church, where in the outer court the Eucharist was celebrated. This was the first solemn mass presided by Father Patton in the Holy Land. In his homily, the Custos recalled Anthony's story and stressed how God guided him through the unexpected events of life. First of all, we should learn that we are not the ones who take the lead in our lives. It is up to us to be open to the surprises of God and not to offer him resistance. The children and the whole community showed welcoming gestures of tenderness. Today is a significant day because this is my first meeting with our local Christian communities and also because it is great to be able to see these Christian communities and their variety. There are native Christians, but there are also people who come from other countries who are here for business reasons. I think it is important for these people to breathe the atmosphere of the Holy Land, which is very special and intense, very intense. One of the customs of the local Christians is to bring their children to be blessed. We promise to dress our children as St. Anthony, asking his intercession and asking him to protect them. The St. Anthony's Festival is one of the strongest religious traditions of the city that best expresses the beauty and diversity of the local church. One of the characteristics of our parish here in Jaffa is that it is a parish of immigrants. It is very colorful. It is a multi-ethnic parish that tonight wants to venerate our patron, St. Anthony. At the conclusion of the Mass, the Custos greeted the faithful and distributed the traditional bread of St. Anthony among the faithful.